Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as ALA13. Today we're going to be talking about pinning. Pinning is something that we do during the assembly process to strengthen the bond between two parts of a model. But not all pieces need to be pinned, only if they are exceptionally heavy, or if you think the contact point for the glue is very small, or if you think the parts are going to experience a lot of wear during play or transportation, then you should consider pinning them. Pin vices consist of a handle and a chuck head. Inside the chuck head we have the drill bit, and the collet. Now some pin vices will actually come with spare collets on the inside. This one comes with two different sizes. We've got a smaller one and a larger gauge. You need to put your collet inside the pin vise. Add your drill bit and then the chuck head will tighten the grip of the collet onto the drill bit. When you're using your pin vise, put the handle into the palm of your hand, like so, and twist with your fingers so that you can have a nice steady grip. Hold steady and drill for about two millimeters minimum. Make sure you're steady and do not wobble while you're drilling because if you wobble, you may snap your drill bit. I use paper clips for pins, but the metal is quite hard compared to normal miniature metal, so your regular clippers may get damaged if you use them to clip the pins. Put glue on the pin and not the model to ensure that there is glue inside the hole. The metal of the pin braces the part against impact and also gives extra surface area for the glue to hold. You can also increase the surface area and grip for the glue by scoring the two surfaces with your hobby knife. You can also use modeling putty to help the glue. I wouldn't recommend using the putty by itself though. Now as soon as you put glue on this, it's going to start to harden, so you need to work quickly. This also has the added benefit of squeezing the putty out of any gaps, so it can act like gap filling for the model. You've just got to make sure that you get rid of any excess with your modeling knife before it sets. If you are having trouble lining the pieces up, you can put a little bit of a guide pin in, so a shorter one than average, and you don't glue it but you put a spot of brightly colored paint on the end and then before it dries, line it up into the correct position on your model. This will give you a spot for you to drill your next hole. You can combine these two techniques by wrapping a small piece of green stuff around the pin before you glue it for a maximum hold. Some people like to use electric drills. I never will because I'm terrified I'm going to draw my own fingers off. I'm a little clumsy. But if you are going to use an electric drill, I recommend that you manually change the settings down to the lowest RPM so that it doesn't chew up your miniature. Well, that's it for my tutorial on pinning. I hope you enjoyed. Likes, shares, and comments are appreciated. See you next time.